He is a seventh grader with a very sweet soul and a fighting spirit. We first told you about Dakari Moore Jr. last summer after a flesh eating disease almost took his life. Doctors had to amputate his left leg to save his life, but the battle didn't end there. I'm about to go into surgery in about 20 minutes. I'm ready for it and I'm positive and I'm strong. Boy, is he strong. Recently, the decision was made to perform yet another amputation so Dakari could live his best life. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash shows us how this inspiring child is embracing his new normal with faith and determination. Last November, we showed you how Dakari was adapting to losing one of his legs, and now you'll see that in spite of another major loss, his strong will hasn't wavered. God puts his toughest people through bigger struggles. He's just 12 years old, but Dakari Moore Jr. seems to have the spirit, strength, and courage of someone far beyond his years. I tell myself, let's shock the world. Last summer, doctors were forced to amputate his left leg after he mysteriously contracted a flesh-eating disease, necrotizing fasciitis. But his challenges didn't end there. Neither did his positive attitude. On April 20th, 2017, Dakari and his parents went to Shriners Hospital in Chicago to have his right leg amputated. Dakari documented the journey with the video diary. Me and my family prayed before we got here and feeling pretty good. The disease had destroyed much of the leg's muscle tissue, so he wasn't left with a lot of feeling. It was like dead weight. It was hold, holding him down. So in order for him to be able to get the prosthetics, he had to have the amputation. I want to walk again, so we had to go with the best decision. We are going, I'm about to go into surgery in about 20 minutes. I'm ready for it and I'm positive and I'm strong. After a nine hour surgery, Dakari woke up to this. Then they amputated through the knee. And I was honest about how was I feeling and I said I was I just need to try to make the best of it. And that's exactly what he's doing. Dakari says losing his second leg has actually given him more independence. I can go upstairs. I can get off my couch. I can do um, bench curls on my bunk bed. His parents are seeing and feeling his joy. As a mom, I would never think that my son would one day not have both his legs. But um, right now, this is happy for me to see him doing good. You know, his health is better. It's a real joy to see him smile on his face. Dakari is still healing and is now focused on building his upper body strength to prepare for prosthetic legs. Once I get my prosthetics there, people are not going to stop me. I'm going to be. He says his future will also focus on sharing his story with others going through a tough time. I'm super proud of him. He just, he amazes me and a lot of other people that he come in contact with. So it's just a real genuine spirit and can't do nothing but love him. And no matter where life takes him next, his biggest cheerleaders will be right by his side at every step. Anything he need or anything. I'm gonna be right there. Say it. Hi. I tell him, ain't nothing gonna stop you from living your life. You know, it might be different, but you're gonna live your life like you want to live it. Three seconds left in the game. He catches it. He got it. Oh! Dakari just started rehab, and we're told it's possible he could get prosthetic legs in the next year. Of course, we'll be there for that too. I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Wow, how amazing to hear that little boy laugh and be such an inspiration and so positive. Nobody would blame him if he were exactly the opposite. Exactly. Yeah, but there he goes, and that's the lesson learned from him right there. Yeah, and I'm sure he's going to share with a lot of people. Yep. And so. Plus, he's got a pretty good throw. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> that's good. All right.